Another visit to the River Severn on a stretch I've fished several times previously, but not since Covid lockdown. And I've never fished this particular swim. I've had to actually get it dug out prior to fishing. My intentions today are to fish for anything that swims other than pike in the hope of catching some silverfish primarily and maybe a barbel or two. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm getting ready for my first casts. A left hand rod with my standard barbel set up, two and a half ounce block end feeder with hemp and barbel mixed ground bait and three eight millimeter robin red pellets on a hair rig, size eight hook. And I'll cast that nearly right the way across towards those fallen trees. And the current's quite strong. So I'm getting ready for this cast on the downstream rod. And as you can see, the left hand rod's bouncing down river, not holding bottom. So that's a bit of a problem. I was hoping to fish right the way across towards the snags. But I think I'll have to change my mind, at least on this first cast. swap the left hand rod over onto the right hand side and the maggot feeder rod the two and a half ounce block end feeder filled with hemp and ground bait and maggots and four red maggots on a size 12 hook and that's about halfway across we'll let that settle down and see what happens after this I've had to resort to casting the barbel rod halfway to two thirds of the way across because I just can't hold bottom where I wanted to fish right the way across. It seems to be do doing okay now. And we'll just retrieve the downstream rod. We had a little indication there before. And I wonder a fish on. Well, there you go. And it's a little gudgeon. I hadn't actually seen the bite properly, so it's a bit of a surprise. There you go. Just plop it back in the river and let it go. And we'll get ready for the next cast. And hopefully we get some more. With the rattle. Try that one, hit it. I don't think I've missed this one as well. This is happening all the time. Lots of rattles, but just coming back with suck maggots. This is very frustrating. And there's another indication. And that was a bite. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's anything on this one either. No. Another missed bite. And there you have it. Suck maggots. That's happening all too often. Just settling down for a spot of lunch. Haven't seen any taps or little rattles, pulls on the right hand rod, maggot feeder. Seems to be all quiet, apart from me rattling my crisp packet. I'll just retrieve it. And there's a fish on. <laughs> Didn't even see any bite. Well, there you go. And it's a little dace. 
perhaps didn't have the strength to pull at the feeder. That probably accounts for why so many bites are coming back with just the sucked maggots. Just plop it back in the river and let it go. And we get ready for the next cast. Little indication there. And another one. I don't know whether to hit this or leave it for a bit longer. We've been missing quite a few bites. Is it still there? Something's still there. Yeah, hit that one. And another miss. Getting a little bit fed up with my poor fishing. The size of some of the fish I've been catching, that's probably indicative of why I'm missing so many. Not seeing any real indications, so I might as well retrieve this. Check there's no suck maggots on it. And it feels like there's a fish on it, and yeah, there is. Only small again. And that's a roach. Real surprise that some of these fish are getting hooked, but majority of the bites I don't even see, or if I do see them, it just comes back with suck maggots. There it is, tiniest roach, and pop it back. I wasn't sure if there was another little tap on that. They're almost imperceptible, these bites, if it was one. I'll just check it anyway. Yeah, and it feels like there's a fish on this. Yeah, and there is. Another tiny silver fish. And another roach. Definitely thinking of changing over now, putting the downstream rod with a piece of meat and after the chub and barbel because there are too many of these small silver fish and I'm not hitting many of the bites. And that's the size of the fish I've been catching, so I might as well switch over to the barbel rod now and let this roach go. And my mate has been catching barbel. I think he's had two or three now, so I might as well concentrate on those and see what happens. I've switched over on the right hand rod, the piece of meat on a hair rig and a size 8 hook. And I'm just going to target the barbel and the chub now. So I know my mate's had at least three barbel, so I might as well pack in with the maggot feeder. Only been catching small silver fish, so I'll just concentrate on targeting the barbel and the chub in the hope that at least one turns up on one of the rods. I haven't had an indication on the left hand rod on the robin reds but we're still hopeful. So I've had several casts on both rods but still no indications on either of them. I'm starting to doubt myself obviously. Oh and there's an Oh, thought that was going to develop on the downstream rod on the piece of meat. Just a chub rattle, I reckon. But that's a good sign. Mm, don't think it's going to come back, though. 
Probably just a small chub. Having had a positive indication on the downstream rod, on the right hand rod, I'm quite encouraged. And there's a knock. And that's a bite. And the way that's set off, that's a barbel. I thought the bite was chub-like, but but the power on this is definitely a barbel. Trying to keep it out of the willow snags on the right-hand side. There's some power in this, and it's given a really good account of itself. Just keep pumping it upstream, trying to get control of it. Yeah, and it's coming in front of me now. Just get it down and get a better angle on it. Yeah, it's out in front of me now. I just caught a glimpse of it, and it looks like a decent fish. Oh, wouldn't you believe it? And there's a piece of streamer weed down there, and it's got into that. And it's snagged. That's just mm -hmm. typical for me recently. Every fish I hook seems to get me into a snag. Anyway, come out. So a bit of relief. And that's a decent sized fish. That's a fine barbel. Not the biggest, but very, very welcome. And I'll just leave it in the net to recover before unhooking it. Retrieve the right hand rod and get it out the way. And when the piece of meat's come off that, so I wasn't going to get a bite on that anyway. So there you go. The barbel's been rested now, been in there for a few minutes before I'm going to take it out and unhook it. Unhooked it, put it back in the river, give it another little rest. Now's the time to bring it up. Stick it on the unhooking mat and get ready to show it to the camera. And there it is. A lovely silvery bronze river seven barbel round about the eight pound mark 
but it didn't half put up a great fight. Very, very exciting and worth the wait. And that's the only bite I've had on that Robin Reds. So it's been back in the river now for a few more minutes. Time to let it go. And away it swims, nice and strong. Well, happy now. Well, that was a difficult session. Only the one fine River Seven Barbel with an unusual silvery bronze colour. And hopefully it can get out again after all these floods. So look out for more videos in the future. And thanks for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed it.